What's up YouTube, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles, in the snake room of course. This week's video is gonna be kinda all over the place, in all honesty. Um, I've been picking up clips as I go along and see cool things happening. Uh, breeding season's getting started, so I'm dealing with the girls right now, trying to get them going. Uh, but we're doing some remodeling, I guess, best way to put it, of the snake room here. We're trying to rearrange some things, make it more efficient, and uh, we're gonna paint too while we're at it. So I got some more projects. I'm not gonna do all the projects in this video, of course. Um, some of them I will actually do a dedicated video on, like building more racks, um, different sizes than what we have already. But I know you guys like seeing the racks built. So I just wanted to kind of highlight what a couple of things we're doing. You're gonna see cuts in and out to different clips, different shirts. Mike McGrath Reptiles right here, buddy. The true, the original MMR. Um, check him out, link in the description, of course. A good buddy of mine. But aside from that, you're gonna see different cuts in and out, different days, different apparel, different things going on. But I uh, just wanted to show you a couple things that have been going on this week. First of all, um, one of the biggest problems we've been having in the room is light. Light is tough. Getting good pictures for Instagram, YouTube videos, stuff like that is tough. Obviously, you can see I'm real, real hot over here, or maybe a little bit over here. The lights are kind of all over the place. Uh, all it had was this little tiny, here I'll show you. All it had was this little tiny dome light, you know, just a standard two bulb dome light that you would find in any, any bedroom or bathroom or whatever. So light in here was terrible. So I used to use this soft box in conjunction with it just to have better light in here. Um, but you probably have seen over my shoulder a couple of sneak peeks. We went ahead and put in a big LED um, like a vanity light. It's like it's designed for like a big bathroom or something right there. And it's huge. This thing's like four feet long and like a foot and a half wide, something like that. But look at the light that it makes in the room. It's a much more natural tone. I'll put up a picture right here. These are the one of the first pictures I took on Instagram just with my phone with that light. And it's the, the snakes show up way better than that. So that was the first big change. That'll help a lot. Second big change, uh, we're getting ready to build the bench on this wall here. It's gonna have uh, a countertop from Ikea, goes across here for room, room to put my uh, cart underneath. And I'm actually probably gonna build out some more cages underneath this side, either uh, holdback cages or bigger cages for when the boas and stuff grow up and are a lot are too big for these racks. We'll figure all that out later. But the bench is coming, and then obviously on top of the bench, from there to the ceiling, um, that's gonna be all hatchling racks. If you guys saw my Instagram live feed the other day, we're gonna build hatchling racks, kinda like these, but three across, and to fit these orange tufts. You'll see over here, the, where the snake racks are, or excuse me, the rat racks are, there's a closet. I don't know if you guys ever knew that there was a closet in this room. But if you come way over here in the corner, you can see how big the room is, first of all. But there's a closet back there. Um, and it's never had doors on it. In fact, none of the closets in my house have doors at the moment. And because of that, with the uh, rats here, everything in that closet was covered in dust. It was gross. So we, uh, we took everything out, cleaned it out really good. I'm getting uh, two sliding doors I'm gonna put on there. It'd be really nice so you don't see it. But I think I'm gonna, I think I got a better use for that closet. I think is what we're gonna do, because if you see, if I walk in here, we got tons of room in here. I'm six foot three, you know, there's a lot of room in this closet. So I think is what we're gonna do with it, we're gonna put the incubators in there. guys so check this out it's not final it's not the last resting place here but 
They fit. Look at this. So imagine too, obviously there's gonna be a set of sliding doors here and there's plenty of room for those to fit. Don't mind the TV box, it's coming out. But basically is what I'll have here, since this will be my main incubator, this door I'll slide open. Can open this in here, get to my eggs, close the door, put them away. And then if I need to use that incubator, we'll slide this door open, be able to walk inside, open it, and use these eggs. So this is pretty cool. And by the way, don't, uh, no, I didn't forget to do the video and no, it's not done. That Soviet incubator has not been built into an incubator yet. I still have to order the parts. I will do the video on it. Uh, a lot of people have you asked me, a lot of you people have asked me how to make these into an incubator. I will do a video on this one. I'm just, I'm done yet. So guys, this is great news. If you've been watching the Instagram feed, which if you haven't been, by the way, you need to, Morph Mixology on Instagram. Uh, but if you watch the Instagram feed, you know that we have started putting males in. We've just been doing an introductory period, not actually like putting them in for days at a time, just a couple hours here and there, just to make sure the females are receptive and that they know that it's time to start getting ready for breeding. And we already have a lock. It was on like the third introduction, I think, between uh, Drake, our dragonfly, and Fi um, Fiona, our fire female. And they've been locked up. When I checked this morning before I went to work, it was, it's been like 20 hours. So now it's been well past 24 hours and we're gonna check on them again. And if you see here, um, we've, we've got all of these tags. These all are the males that are currently in with each of those females. Um, and we're keeping records obviously on which ones we've paired in and when, but let's check on down there. Let's check on Drake and Fiona and see if they're still locked up. Well, I've never done this before, but that's about as good a lock as I can expect to see. So super excited about that. It's been well over 24 hours that they've been locked up. So uh, I'm confident that this is working. Um, when they do come apart, I'll take them out. We'll feed him. I'll probably give him a week off, maybe two weeks off, right back in there. Try to get, uh, try to observe at least three different lock sessions. That's what I've been told is the best way to do it. So we'll start doing that and fingers crossed, all of these other males start catching on and doing the same thing oh and by the way while we're doing all of this we're gonna paint um actually I, let me know in the comments your thoughts on this so it's all this terrible gray color and obviously the ceilings are white um our color is orange in fact i changed the water tubs on the uh, rat breeders because i wanted orange ones too so and it says let's do this motivational but here's what i want to know from you guys what do you think we're doing orange tubs so the uh hatchling rack will be uh, all white melamine like those are but with orange tubs in them the bench top will be like a black it'll look like black granite with speckling in it but it'll be fake obviously and a lot easier to clean um so here's our options do we do the entire room in this super light gray, make the room really bright and, and easy to see? Do we do the entire room in this orange, which obviously would be really bright, or do we do most of the room in the light gray and a feature wall in orange? And if so, if you pick uh, option C, the feature wall, what walls should be orange? Obviously, this one's gonna be mostly covered by hatchling racks almost completely um, this one is mostly covered and it's gonna be obviously remember these are gonna move down a little bit 
we could put it in this this alcove area it could be orange where the rat racks are um, or this wall where it's just mostly storage so just let me know what you think should we do uh, light gray orange or both so well guys for me it's the next day for you it's uh, like that quick but here's the thing this whole uh, closet deal with the incubators turned out awesome I went to Lowe's today and bought some sliding doors for it. Let me just show you what I did. Check this out. So now we have, you probably saw it on Instagram, now we have a dedicated closet. Let me back up here so you can see the whole room. See way over there, now you've got a closet. And this just worked out perfect with my sliding doors. I got incubators hidden in here and storage. So this is gonna be Perfect for this coming season. To go in the other side, I can get my vacuum out and we can actually walk inside here. We probably won't use this incubator this year, but we can walk inside here and use this one too. So this turned out super, super nice. I'm just really happy with the way this, this is done. Just cheap doors from Lowe's. You got my fan, obviously. Everything's cleaned up. Just got done doing all of the uh, tub cleanings. I clean all the rat tubs once a week. Snakes have been fed. Um, not tomorrow, but the day after, we're gonna put more, we're gonna put the males back in and really get that, oh, sideways, really get that breeding thing going, so. By the way, guys, um, a lot of people have messaged me and asked if they could uh, send us stuff, you know, their stickers, uh, fan mail, whatever. I've had a couple requests for it. We do now have a dedicated PO box for Morph Mixology. I will put that right here. PO box 30383, Billings, Montana 59107. Um, if you guys want to send us anything, absolutely feel free to do so. This is not a request for anything, but if you do want to send us something, I will, uh, I will open it and we will be absolutely grateful for sure. Don't forget about the uh, giveaway going on. One week left for that. That drawing will be live on the channel. We're not doing a video next week, uh, which will be Wednesday the 3rd. We're not doing a video for that. That'll be live, the drawing for the giveaway. Uh, so make sure you check out the giveaway video. I'll put the link in the description. Um, our merch link is down there, of course. We've got the new stickers that I showed last week. A lot of people have already messaged me to get those, so thanks a lot for your guys' support on that. And if you haven't uh, followed us on Instagram and Facebook, please do. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week with the live stream of the giveaway for 1,000 subs, even though we're almost to 1,500 already. Again, thank you guys so much for all your support and help. And fingers crossed, for a really good breeding season. See you guys next week.